Welcome, la welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Raw. Uh, our next match is the second and final semi-final match. And whoever wins this will take on the Road Warriors in the finals. And it will be for the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championships. And now let's see, where's, where's Edge and Christian? Where are they? Oh, well, there they are. As they come through the crowd. As they enter the ring, and now... Wow, Edge is just showing us what kind of a machine he is, if you know what I mean. But, hey, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of women that would love to get a piece of Edge, if you also know what I mean. But anyway, uh, here you have Edge and Christian, probably the youngest team throughout the tournament overall. I mean, I mean, we've had a couple of, uh, there's a lot of great teams that want to be in this one, and they are a very big surprise. I mean, they took out... As I was about to say, uh, Edge and Christian are a surprising tag team because I didn't think they'd make it this far this quickly. But now they will have to take on an impending doom. The team known as Doom. That would be the Prophet and Ganondorf. The reigning unified tag team champions. Uh, they will be defending those belts, but more important than that, the winner moving on to the final and moving one step closer to becoming the world or the, yeah the world wrestling federation tag team champions now this match is uh an elimination match there are no tag rules applied in fact every match since the second round is is, is to, like the match type is determined at random and more often than not we had more normal tag team matches but this one is anything but normal uh, this is elimination style, so one fall will not win this matchup. Uh, in fact, you have to eliminate an entire team to win. And if you're Edge and Christian, you want to try to get rid of one of these guys. Because, in fact, I think Ganondorf would be the biggest threat, considering that, well, come on, the man is, is huge, and he's a supernatural threat. So I would think you would have a much better chance at going at the profit, but you don't want to sell the profit short as much as I hate to say it. And oh, sorry about that. There you go. Uh, that that was my fault there. And now Ganondorf going for an armbar onto Christian. And Edge 
Well, Edge was too busy fighting the prophet, but Christian somehow found a way to escape, and he does. An electric chair drop onto, uh, onto the prophet. And that, like I said, that could have been curtains for Christian had, he, had uh, Christian not found a way to get out of that move. And now Edge fighting back against the Prophet. And then a clothesline onto the Prophet. I mean, for Edge and Christian, they quickly eliminated uh, APA with a submission move. In fact, <laughs> Edge did all the work, and Christian didn't do much. And he, in fact, he didn't need to, but for Doom, I mean, they they made it this far by taking out the... Hard Foundation, though, to be honest, they took each other out. But to be honest than that, I, I, you know, the British Bulldog, you know, that treacherous son of a bitch. I mean, in, in addition to the fact that he's pissed me off in the sense that, he, you know, he, he badmouthed my son to Jew 22. The fact that he also turned on his partner after so many years of being friends and family and all that stuff. I mean, that, that, that's pretty much out the window now. And I have a feeling that uh, the British Bulldog, somewhere down the road, is going to pay for everything that, uh, th that he has done, whether it's to my son or whether it's recently to Bret Hart. And... And it looks like Ganondorf has that move has that move cinched in very tight, and yeah, it looks like uh, Christian just tapped out. But now Edge is the one in trouble now, much like Bret Hart was before him. So now all Doom has to do is uh, finish the job. Oh, and then a suplex onto uh, Edge, and then a kick right to the back of Edge by Ganondorf. And then a, a DDT on the Ganondorf, but then the Prophet follows up with a, 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 a clothesline on the Edge, and then just kicks him in the face, does uh, the Prophet. Now, Edge is not going to quit, but unfortunately, he is out and man, two to one. And then a clothesline on the Ganondorf. But just like that, every time Edge tries to get something going... Interrupted by the other guy. Elbow right to the head of uh, the Prophet. Oh, but Ganondorf, just like that, comes in. At this point, Edge is going to need a miracle. Because at the rate he's going, yeah, he just got cold cocked by the Prophet. And then an elbow right to the back. Nice uh, counter by the Prophet. And now whipped into, uh, whipped up to the stairs. And now, this is really where it gets dangerous because now they're on top of that, um, on, on top of the ramp. And that, that thing is made out of metal, man. And now Edge has been busted open, but he gets thrown right back in the ring. And now Edge turns it around on the Prophet and delivers an elbow onto him. But Edge, I, I don't like his chances right here. Oh, but Edge turns that around. And then whipped into the barricade. And then a, a headbutt. I mean, right now, Edge is just going to get destroyed at the rate he's going. Oh, but nice uh, counter by Edge, but unfortunately, he is just outmanned 2-1. to one. And whipped into the post, rammed into the post, and thrown into the ring is uh, Edge.
on Edge doing the smart thing, trying to divide and conquer, but that's he can only do that for so long before it's over. And then a clothesline on the Edge. Now Prophet picks him up. Oh, and then the priest kick. The priest kick. Oh, but Ganondorf's not finished with him yet. And thrown back in the ring is uh, Edge. And uh-oh, Edge is pissed. And Edge, well, thrown over the top rope. And Edge, ooh, nice punch. Oh, and then a low blow right to Edge. Oh, man. Yeah, Edge is not going to have any kids tonight. I'm sorry, Edge is not having any kids tonight. Especially after what Ganondorf just did to him. Oh, yeah, and I, I think it's over now because the Prophet is going to go for... The Prophecy. The Prophecy onto Edge. And is that enough? One. No! Unbelievable! Edge is still in this! I don't know how! I'm like, what the hell does it take to beat Edge? I mean, give that give that man a medal, man. I'll tell you one thing. Oh, but Edge up on his feet, but I don't know how I don't know for how long though. Uh oh, this might do it. This might do it. And Oh, and a double DDT on the both men. And then a dragon screw on to the Prophet. And now Edge, what's he doing? Oh, nice move by uh, Edge. And now Edge, a, a neck breaker on to uh, the Prophet. And now he's just stomping a mud hole on the Prophet. Oh, but now Ganondorf finally gets a hold of him. Oh, and then a kick right to the, the leg of uh, Ganondorf. But then, just like that, it's... Oh, wait. Edge gets a hold of uh, Ganondorf. Oh, but before Edge could do anything... No, wait. Wait. A back suplex on to uh, Ganondorf. And then a clothesline on to Ganondorf. And now Prophet gets a hold of him. And now whipped into the corner. Oh, nice escape by Edge. I don't know where this kid is getting the strength to do this, but he's still kicking ass. And Doom is trying everything they can to get this guy, and they can't do it. I mean, this is just unbelievable, the edge, the performance this young man is putting on. And, well, thrown over the top rope is Edge, but... It looks to me like they realize that they're going to have to do more than that to Edge if they want to beat him. On another low blow. So again, is that way? Is that enough? One, two, three, and that's it. So it took two low blows to beat Edge. And unfortunately, with all the blood he's also lost, that was just enough. So, by, by virtue of their victory, Doom is still the Unified Tag Team Champions, but more important than that, they will be taking on the Road Warriors in the finals for the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship, but 
but whoever wins will be double champion. They will be the Unified Tag Team Champions and they will be the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. When it's all said and done, I would have to suggest that. And wh whoever ultimately wins the tournament will have to vacate the Unified Tag Team Championships and will have to crown a new champion. Or new champions, I should say, excuse me. But, so we now know... Uh, we now know the final, but we still have one more match left to go on our show before we get to our big, big super show, and that's coming up, uh, well, not after this, but after the next match. But until then, uh, we still have one more match. All right. Peace out.